Hey guys, so these are my top 10 picks for tweaks that you should get on your iPad. This video was made for people who are limited to only an iPad and and also people who are fairly new to jailbreaking and don't know any tweaks that would be good for the iPad. And these tweaks that I find are very convenient and improve the experience on the iPad, in my personal opinion. First off, it is Medusa, and Medusa, if you don't already know, adds multitasking to older iPads and even iPhones. And I found this to be the most efficient and the most properly working ones out of the others. Next up is one I've actually never even heard of, and it is Charging Helper for iOS 8. Now this does work for iOS 9, just to be clear, it does sound misleading, but that's what it's called. And it gives you all of the specs for your battery and even the temperature, which I don't believe it's 87 degrees Fahrenheit if you translate it from Celsius. This is Harbor, and once again, it gives that Mac type of feeling when you hover over an object and you have that setting in the Mac. And it's pretty simple to take apps out. If you have too many apps, it will lag it a little bit. As much as I love Power Tap, it is not the only option. There is also Power Down, which gives all of the shutdown tabs its own little area to slide and I feel like it's best for iPad because of how big the screen is. This is Bounce Notify 8 and I'm pretty sure a lot of you know about this <laughs> and as you can see my settings are a little bit weird and you can change them of course but yeah it gives me that little feeling of a Mac. When you're working with a big screen as big as this and you want to get things faster done and open apps faster from the lock screen especially this is Barry C8 and you can open any app you want from the lock screen with this. This is a big obvious, but this is Cylinder, and this adds all sorts of animations that you want. It is a big must if you love customization. Like we discussed in the previous video, this is Swipe for More, and basically what this does is, instead of clicking on a tweak that you like, now all you have to do is just swipe, and you can queue it or just install it. This is Cream, and this gives you a iOS 10 type of feeling with the colors being added for the control center. This is Boot Sound, and once again, this is going to make me feel more like I'm using a touchscreen Mac, basically. And as you can hear in a second, you will hear a Mac sound. You can change it to anything. You can even make some custom ones if you go into iFile. So here's the default one. And that is it. So stay tuned for more videos like this and of course different videos from this if you are getting annoyed of this. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.